Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we will discuss about correlation research. Correlational research is a type of non-experimental research method in which a researcher measures two variables, understand and assess the statistical relationship between them with no influence from any external variable. There are three types of correlation research. First, positive correlation, which both variables change in the same direction. The example, as he increases, weight also increases. The second one is negative correlation. The variable change in opposite direction. For example, as coffee consumption increases, tiredness decreases. And the third is zero correlation or no correlation. There is no relationship between the variables. For example, coffee consumption is not correlated with heat. Okay, so uh, by having this type of correlation of research, I hope you can identify uh, which correlations belongs to positive correlation, negative correlation, and zero correlation. Now let's go to data collection and correlational research. So ladies and gentlemen, in correlational research, we can implement, we can apply three types of data collection. The first one is surveys, the second naturalistic using naturalistic data, and the third using archival data. Survey is a simple way to research the relationship between the variables is through surveys and questionnaires. You can conduct surveys online by mail, by phone, or in person. You ask respondents questions related to the variables you are interested in, and then statistically analyze the responses. The advantages of survey is quick and flexible, but it has weakness. Responses may not always be honest or accurate, so survey has a bias. Yeah. Example, to find out if there is a relationship between vegetarianism and income, you send out a questionnaire about diet to a sample of people from different income brackets. You statistically analyze the responses to determine whether vegetarians generally have higher incomes. And then the next is naturalistic data naturalistic observation is a way of data collection in which people's behavior is observed in their natural environment in which they typically exist this method is a type of field research it could mean a researcher might be observing people in a grocery store at a cinema playground or similar places the advantages of naturalistic data eliminates researchers' influence and respondent inaccuracy that might affect the variables because you cannot mm, mm, the influence between the researchers and target of or object of research mostly zero yeah, because this is naturally approach. But although yeah it eliminates researchers' influence and respondent but the, the weakness is it takes time, yeah? It's time consuming, consuming and unpredictable. So you will, you have to uh, prepare and you have to ready to be ready uh, for the unpredictable situation happen from these naturalistic approaches. For example, to find out if there is a correlation between gender and class participation, you observe college seminars, note the frequency and duration of students' contributions, and categorize them based on gender. You statistically analyze the data to determine whether men are more likely to speak up in class than women. Yeah, so you have to do uh, observation. And the third method is archival data. Another approach to correlational data is the use of archival data. Archival data is the data that has been previously collected by doing similar kind of research, 
Archival data is usually made available through primary research. So if you want to uh, take a data, you can use uh, another data from another research. For example, uh, you will discuss about the effectiveness of, uh, of, of, of sing a song towards students' English pronunciation. Yeah, you can use previous uh, study data. Yeah. The advantages of this searchable data allow access to large amounts of data to observe change over time or space, but it also has weakness. The data may be unreliable or incomplete, yeah, because uh, maybe the data is uh, what is that expired or something else. For example, to find out if working hours are related to mental health, you use official national statistic. Hold records in scientific studies from several different countries to find data on average working hours and rates of mental illness. You statistically analyze the data to see if countries that work fewer hours have better mental health outcomes. Yeah. Okay, about correlation and causation. It's important to remember that correlation does not imply causation yeah just because you find a correlation between two things doesn't mean that one of them causes the other you have to highlight this that causation not always a correlation yeah for example you find a strong negative correlation between working hours and mental health in countries with lower average working hours people report better mental health however this doesn't prove that lower working hours cause an improvement in mental health there are many other variables that may influence the relationship, such as average income, access to mental health care, and cultural norms. Yeah. Okay, I hope you understand it clearly. Although correlational research can prove causation with large amount of carefully collected and analyzed data, it can strongly support casual hypothesis. And examples above, the whole effects of passive smoking and the greenhouse effect have been supported by so much robust correlation evidence that the causal relationship is accepted by scientists. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today about the correlational studies. Okay, I would like to brush up the material today. The first one, there are uh, three types of correlation. The first one, positive correlation. Second one, negative correlation. And no correlation, yeah? And then there are three ways, yeah, three types of collecting data in correlational studies. The first one is using survey, second one, na second one naturalistic approach, and then the third using archival data. And the last, causation, not always correlation. You have to make sure that causation is correlation or not, because not all the causation is a correlation between two variables okay i think that's enough for today thank you so much for your attention see you next time assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh